You guys, I'm in a predicament because I'm editing a video that's actually going up this week and it means what? that I've got nothing for next week. <laughs> Uh, I'm not talking to you. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I'm I'm picking up the camera today because I need <laughs> I need videos and I like to have them. Um, my life is just a little bit boring. Um, today I <laughs> it was kind of frustrating and I I didn't film any of it because it was not my story to tell, but I um. I was so on top of it this morning. I was awake at 7 a.m. I got full rest. I'm, I slept well. I went to sleep well and I, I slept well. Yes, can I, I help you? To get a bucket. I need to get something for a ride for the person to get to work tomorrow. Okay, I will get you a bag. You may have a birthday party tomorrow during cheer, so you may have to pick me up. Okay, could I get an invitation? I know. To that? I'm trying to get her to do it. Okay, that would be good. Okay, go, eat. Go and eat. Also, I have an addition to my costume that we bought last night. That's funny. It's not that cool. It is. Um, actually, two things, two additions to Halloween that I'll, uh, that I'll show you. Um, anyway, so I was rested. I mean, I probably got like six and a half, seven hours of sleep, which was, I haven't gotten that sleep in a long time. <laughs> so it was very nice. Um, but I laid in bed. I, I kind of went back to sleep at seven. It's when Jason was going to work. So I kind of was in and out of sleep. But at like eight in the morning, I was scrolling my phone, checking my emails, making to-do lists, and, um, and, and things like that. Um, I usually kind of flag emails that I need to like work on, on my computer. Um, dust, let's see. Um, anyway, uh, and then like eight, 45 I was like you know what let's get up let's get going I knew I needed to help a friend she had texted me at like 10 30 um last night and she needed help she can't drive herself so she stays home all the day day every day um with her little um dog and um her plumbing went out and they had you know a plumber come and he wasn't supposed to come till next week and so she was going through her house having to move everything out of her bathroom everything out of her kitchen and everything out of her study um, in order to have the plumber have access to all those internal walls and he has to go in through like the the basement you know the underground space to redo all their piping because they have a 1960s home <laughs> and now the plumbing has been updated since 1960 when it was built so it's a very old house and she asked me for a ride to go to a hotel one that she could get like an extended stay type with a kitchen and a living room and a, you know bedrooms and things like that. So they can stay in the hotel for the week. Um, so that, cause the, the plumber has to turn, turn off the water. Anyway, she just needed a ride. That's not what ended up happening. Bless her heart. Needed a lot of help. She needed a lot of help. We had to clear one whole room. Um, there's a reason we should declutter. There's a reason we should be more organized. I love her to death, but there was a lot of sticky notes and receipts and garbage that I would have just thrown away. But are you done? Can we do something? No, I have an hour to make myself some dinner. I'm gonna go put some of those potatoes in the micro in the air fryer again and find the veggie for myself. I'm not going out before I take you to cheer. You're going to cheer too. I know that. That's why I'm not gonna go out again. What are we doing today? Okay, go away. Can yeah. I finish? <sighs> go away. You have a friend on a call. Can you go away? Blah. Anyway, love my child. I love you. Anyway, um, I went, um, I was on my way. I was in my car by 9.15 a.m. Dressed for a walk. I told her ahead of time, I'm going to go my walk. I'll come pick you up afterward and we'll take you to the hotel and get you checked in. And then I'll go back and get any stuff from your fridge and um, and your suitcases and stuff and we'll take you back to the hotel. She called me when I was halfway to my walk and said that her plumber wanted her out of the house right then. So we, I had to go over there right then, which I was happy to do. I'm happy to help people. Um, it, I was at her house for two hours. 
no, an hour and a half. Cleaning a whole room, moving things, um, packing up a few things, and then um, moving furniture, and then um, drove her to the hotel, found a really expensive room for her. <laughs> I said, I could have sent you to Hawaii for cheaper than the price that she's getting for this hotel right in town. I felt so bad, the amount she paid. You guys, I just, you know I'm always looking for a deal. I just found um, a room at a resort, it's a resort on the island of Molokai, which I've never gone there before. I think this is a this is a fantastic idea. If my husband is watching this for the future, if we go on a trip, just the two of us, we could do four or five days on the island of Molokai. I think that would be really fun. They wanted $1,000 for six nights in a full suite, had a kitchen, had a room, had a living room with an ocean view. <laughs> it's like, anyway, I digress. I was like, I could send you to, to my friend today. I was like, I could, we could literally send you to Hawaii and you could go and stay in this little condo for a week for cheaper than she paid <laughs> this hotel. So we found a room for her, went back to her house, packed up the rest of her stuff, emptied her fridge into a bucket, and her dog, got her, got her dog. I took her to go get some food. She wanted a couple meals um, to take with her to the hotel. She went and got some pho um, and took her to the hotel, unloaded everything into her room and got her and her dog set up. And by the time I did all of that, it was 1 p.m. <laughs> I was like, well, so that's all I did this morning. And then, well, first of all, and then I went and got uh, pumpkin pies for Jason. He's not gonna see this. You could eat a real good dinner before we go to cheer, and yes, you can have pumpkin pie, because I bought two. Okay, great. Yes, you can have a slice of pumpkin pie, because I got two pumpkin pies. <laughs> I was like, we need the pre-pumpkin pie that he won't know about, and then we'll have pumpkin pie tomorrow for his actual birthday, because I knew if, I, if Abby saw it this morning, when I got home, or this afternoon when I got home, she would immediately want a slice. Um, and so I got two pies. They're only $5.99. So like, it's his literal favorite dessert all year round. Um, and he will eat pumpkin pie from now until Christmas if I buy it for him. Or he buys it for himself. So I got him a pumpkin pie. I actually have his birthday presents. He already knows one of them. Um, but I've got them hidden over here in the corner. Can you even see those? Yeah, they're right. Oh, they're there. I can normally, so if you're in my room, they're behind that. He, I just don't want him to know that I'm prepared and ready to go for his birthday. I do have like a little bow to put on it as soon as I put it on the table. So we've got those two presents. He knows one of them. He picked it out like two months ago because um, there's a really good REI sale. You'll see what it is tomorrow. Um, and then I went, when I was getting the pumpkin pies, at Costco I glanced through the clothing section he's always looking for um, hoodies he's fallen in love with hoodies and he has two of them now one of them he got from as like a, a you know rep deal or whatever like one of his vendors um, came in for a shoe presentation or whatever and happened to have a sweatshirt zip up and he, he fell in love with it, so he, he bought another one, probably like on Amazon or something. And they're two black ones, and they're just casual, whatever. But I found one at Costco, and it's really nice. Like, it's a little bit, it's not like fancy or anything, but it just looks a little bit nicer. It's gray, of course, because he's gray, black, and blue. That's all he wears. But I also got myself um, a little, um, I'm not going to wear it. I mean, I guess I could wear it as a crossbody bag. They're only $15. Um, but I am getting sick of having things in my pockets when I'm going walking. I mean, I have like tissue, you've seen, you've seen what I take when I go on a walk. I have tissues, which with the cold weather, my nose is running even more. So tissues, chapstick, um, my AirPod case, I would love to have on me to, if my, if, if my AirPods kind of lose, um, battery or if when I'm with my friends, um, I like to have. You know, I, I have to put them away if like they meet me up there or whatever. Um, anyway, so I just wanted a bag to put it all in and then like attach it to myself. Actually wear it as a fanny pack. Yes, I'm that old. I'm, I'm fine with the fanny pack. 
So I got that for myself. Um, and then um, his little present. So I wrapped everything up. Um, we'll put the pie out tomorrow morning. I don't have like candles or anything like that, but um, ready to go for that. Last night when we were at Target, I saw this and I thought it was very fitting. Well, I'll show you. If you haven't seen my costume, it is the Target basket. Um, it is a little, I mean, you wear it over your shoulders. And I saw this and I thought, because of the candy, well, obviously I'm gonna give out candy. Um, so I got a Target bag, a Target basket and a Target bag. I'm gonna put the candy in here and hold this as I hand out the candy. But hold please, we shall show you. I'm gonna put this by it. And, uh, okay, but we convinced Jason. I've been kind of like testing the waters with him and I was like, hey, do you, the kids kind of want to be the cool house and have, um, and hand out the big Easter, or the big Halloween candies. And when we were at Costco, maybe I already told you this. When we were at Costco with Kaylee the other day, um, I said, hey Kaylee, go and ask. We were standing right in front of the big candies, the big candy bars at Costco. I'm not showing the kids or Jason where this is. Can you see what that is? Can you see what those are? They were on rebate for 20 bucks a box. And um, he walked right over to me and Kaylee, and he fell for it, <laughs> like it's flying a seeker, and he he knows all this. He walked over to us. Just, we, what is, they're doing homework with Alexa, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing in there. I'm staying in here, because Chelsea's doing homework, and Ashley's on a, a FaceTime call with her friends. He literally walked over to Kaylee and I, and we're standing right by these boxes of big candy bars, and he looks at the price. We're not saying anything to him. He looks at the price and the rebate, and he's like, oh, this is a really good deal. We really can be like the big candy bar house. We hadn't said anything to him. He had just gotten milk from the milk section and walked over to us to meet us. And he just, he's like, oh, if we're getting one, we're getting two. <laughs> Kaylee and I bust up laughing because we literally hadn't said anything to him. I've just been planting the seed for, I don't know, maybe a week or so. So it worked. Sucka. We're going to be the big candy house. So I probably will have a bowl with the little candy to like hand out to like little kids and stuff. And then the teenagers and the kids that I do know and I recognize, they will in fact be getting the large candy bars. But... I have to hide it. <laughs> I have to hide it. So anyway, that's kind of an update on all the things. Tomorrow is in fact Jason's birthday. We're not going to go out tomorrow. Ashley has cheer, all the things. And so we will go out Friday night. He hasn't decided where, but I think the idea of going over to like Ballard and the Fisherman's Wharf, it's going to be a nice day, a nice crisp fall sunny day. It'll be kind of nice. Or the Seattle waterfront will be kind of fun. Um, anyway, we'll kind of come up with something fun to go and do. And we'll probably do it kind of maybe even partially during the day to just be in sunlight and whatnot. So anyway, I have an hour now. Oh, let's go. Let's go make some potatoes. I was really liking them. I don't need too many carbs. And I ate them after my veggies and after Chelsea and after my protein last that night. Burp. That was a good burp. Thank you. I know. Thank you for that. Um, Abby needs soft foods. And she liked these little potatoes yesterday. And I know Jason's going to be hungry when he gets home. So I'm going to make this. I'm going to go get some broccoli from the other fridge freezer. Um, I need a lot of broccoli. Make these potatoes. Um, it's 400 degrees in your air fryer for, you can't see I can't remember. It was like 20 minutes, 25 minutes or something like that. It's a little bit of time in the air fryer, but they get nice and crispy. Like if you roll them in olive oil and then sprinkle them with, I have kosher salt. You could do like sea salt or whatever, pink Himalayan salt or just, you want like big crunchy salt. 
and then air fry it. And it tasted so good. I did forget to, um, I did forget to poke him, like stab him. Hey Charles, can you come and unload? So, we're gonna do this really quick. She's gonna load her dishes. Take her to cheer, we have dual cheer squads tonight. Um, the other dad takes her and her friend over to their other practice and then I get done with this one and we are learning Halloween dance tonight. What Halloween dance? Someone is making, has made one and we have the Halloween song and I haven't, she hasn't posted the video yet. So we're hoping to practice that tonight. But I'm not going to be there neither as Ella. Uh, you'll be there for the first 45 minutes. Yeah, but... We'll do our best. We're not performing it until the end of October. So we have a couple Can weeks. I, see it? I don't have the dance yet. Who does? One of the other coaches has made it. She's gonna make a video of it, or Alex, I don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna make my potatoes, gonna get them cooking. All right, ignore the microwave. We don't know why it makes that sound, but I'm making broccoli. And what are you doing? Trying to make my dance. Trying to make- I'm not making it, but trying to make it fit the music. Well, they, here, let them hear that beginning. I don't, I don't know if there's a copyright. Well, I don't know if there's a copyright on the beginning of it. Here, here just do, hit play. Let me do it. Yeah, okay. I'll just do it. We're walking on. Okay, they're going to walk on during this part. I'm thinking that would be changed. Yeah. Bum, bum. We can't show the next part, or yeah, because it's thriller. <laughs> Definitely Halloween music, um, which I know those those ones are gonna have uh, copyright on. So we are gonna wait. What cheer shoes? I don't know. Just tennis shoes. Boot or what? We probably shouldn't stunt tonight if what? we're gonna work on that new dance. You want me to show the how? If I can show. And think, can you help me think of a good um, team building to do when you guys leave? Well, and Tammy Walker. leaves, huh? Sally Walker. Well, yeah, that one's fun, but it only can last like five minutes. Think of a team building, like a little game or something that we can play. So. Waka. Alrighty. Well. Waka waka for warm up. Waka waka. What's that? It's a dance. But it's like an exercise dance that you like okay. pumped up. Do you want to do that? Sure. You know it? Me and Gracie both know it's an ADE thing. Okay, you can show them before you guys leave. That'd be a good like warm up activity. It's, it's definitely a warm up. Because they said that. that we should do some conditioning. Um, yeah. Alex. I know conditioning. She said, what, hear me see Here, the I, message. Yeah, it? it's in, it's in, um, it's in, no, band. Dance? Yeah. Go back out of that. She said conditioning could do contests for most push-ups in a minute or holding plank. Um, Simon says with cheer commands or captain captains. Captain's coming. Oh, what's yeah. captain's coming? So basically, it's like ships and sailors. It's like that ships, that sailors, and then when there's a director and you go ships, sailors, captain's coming, and if you do a wrong move. Uh, and, and you say Addies, you can't do anything while you're doing Captain's Coming and then they say Addies and then you can start doing it. Okay, so it's like Simon says. Yeah. We should do it like cheer, cheer captain. I don't know, I can make it yeah, cheerleading. Yeah, cheer captain. You can't, really gonna... a, you can't really pick a first person to do that. Then I know, we oh, decided not to off. have cheer chat. I know, sword. I know, dad's hand fell off, or his sword, guys. His, his hand hands. and his sword fell off. We had that, we showed it to our game group. Only two of us have them. Four of us, I should say. Um, so they thought there was, those were pretty funny that we got. If I do say that looks yummy. That literally just looks like instant, like frozen food. It does not, I mean it was frozen food, but this is real broccoli and that's real chicken. I keep farting. Can you stop? Goodness sakes. Okay, so I'm sitting at the school. I'm coaching. Ashley and her friend have left. The other coach and her daughter have left and we are down at two more play people so we're missing five of our 14 so there's nine left and um they're playing a game of guess what cheer so one person has to guess and the other eight do the cheer without any of the words right no words <laughs> 
So they just do it and you have to hear the stomps and hear the claps and, and then the person up front guesses um, what the cheer is. And as soon as she can guess it, she starts doing it. And then everyone starts to say the cheer out loud. It's kind of cute. It's a good way to like really know your cheers. And we also just practiced our, our halftime routine for the Halloween dance. And we have a really, really cute routine. And it's crazy that the exact same routine with a different song totally changes the whole thing. And we just have a really cute beginning and a really cute ending. We totally change formations from our regular routine. And um, it's gonna look really, really cute on the field. And one of the other players has a monster cheer that we're gonna do at the Halloween game. So that's kind of fun. So we're just killing the last like six minutes of practice. And then I go and pick up Ashley from her other. So you can hear them. I hear me turning you around. So they don't say the cheer out loud. They just have to like, let's see if she can get it. <laughs> it takes a long time to get them. This one is hard. So she did not, in fact, get that one. That was our first cheer to start every game. Are you ready? For it's the Eagles. So they didn't get it. So anyway, we're going to finish up here and then. I am. I'm. <laughs> Do you want to come say hi? Hi, What? Hi, The camera. All the peoples. Well, I'm not recording you right now. <laughs> Myself, talking. Oh, hi, camera. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it didn't record. They all want to be on there, on here. They already are, but okay, okay, okay. Hi, YouTube! I've been on here lately. Hi, YouTube!